The word game has become an example of frivolity, sounding almost childish in a way. Perhaps that is because of the nature of the games we play. Taking away the competitiveness certainly takes away the edge the sport has. The games that retain their competitiveness are the ones that are the most exciting and sometimes the more dangerous than others. But the most dangerous game is one in which the lives of the hunter and the hunted are equally at risk. The celebrated hunter, while aboard a yacht cruising in the Caribbean, falls into the sea. While swimming desperately for the shore, he hears the anguished cries of an animal being hunted. It is an animal he does not recognize. Rainsford makes it to land and after sleeping on the beach, he begins to look for people on the island. He finds evidence of the hunt he overheard and wonders, upon finding empty cartridges, why anyone would use a small gun to hunt what was, according to the evidence, obviously a large animal. Rainsford then follows the hunter's footprints to the solitary house on the island. The mansion looms above him like something out of a gothic novel and inside is a similarly gothic character as well, even a gigantic mute man. Even is about to shoot Rainsford when the entry of another man stops him. The second man, General Zaroff, is far more civilized looking than Even and has exquisite manners. He apologizes for Even and gives Rainsford clean clothes and dinner. While the men are eating, Zaroff reveals his passion for the hunt. He tells Rainsford he hunts big game on the island. A game he has imported. Hunting has ceased to be a challenge to Zaroff, so he decided to hunt a new animal, one that could reason. Rainsford realizes with horror that Zaroff actually hunts humans and wonders what happens if a man refuses to be hunted. He finds there is no refuse in Zaroff, for either a man goes on hunt or he is turned over to the brutish even. Although Rainsford passes the night in comfortable quarters, he understandably has trouble sleeping. As he finally dozes off, he hears a pistol shot in the jungle. The next day, Rainsford demands to leave the island. Zaroff protests that they have not gone hunting yet and then informs Rainsford that he, in fact, is to be hunted. Zaroff tells him that if he survives three days in the jungle, he will be returned to the mainland but he must tell no one of Zaroff's hunt. With no real choice, Rainsford accepts his supplies from Even and leaves the Shittaw. He has a three-hour head start and is determined to outsmart Zaroff. He doubles back on his trail numerous times until he feels that even Zaroff cannot follow his path. Then he hides in a tree for rest. Zaroff, however, comes right to him but chooses not to look up in the tree and find him. Rainsford realizes that Zaroff is playing a game of cat and mouse with him. After Zaroff has walked off, Rainsford steals his nerve and moves on. Rainsford decides to set a trap for Zaroff. If Zaroff trips it, a dead tree will fall on him. Soon, Zaroff's foot sets off the trap but he leaps back and only his shoulder is injured. He congratulates Rainsford and tells him he is returning to the chateau to get his wound looked at but will be back. Rainsford flees through the forest. He comes to a path of quicksand known as Death Swamp where he builds another trap. He fashions a pit with sharp stakes inside and a mat of forest weeds and branches to cover the opening. One of Zaroff's dogs springs the trap, however, and ruins Rainsford's plan. At daybreak, Rainsford hears a fear-inspiring sound, the baying of Zaroff's hounds. He makes another attempt to save his life. He attaches a knife to a flexible sapling, hoping it will harm Zaroff as he follows the trail, but this too fails. It only kills even. In a fit of desperation, Rainford looks to his only escape, jumping off the cliff into the sea which waits far below. He takes this chance. That night, General Zaroff is back in his mansion. He is annoyed with the thought of having to replace Even, and he is slightly irked because one of his prey has escaped. He goes up to bed and switches on the light. A man is hiding behind the curtains. It is Rainford. Zaroff congratulates him on winning the game but Rainsford informs him that they are still playing. In an ironic twist, the hunter has now become the hunted and the disgust of hunting a man has turned into pleasure. 
That night, Rainsford sleeps with immense enjoyment in Zarov's comfortable bed. <laughs>